I'm going to show you how to recruit every single character in the game. I'll also show their recruit rewards, and the rewards you get when you execute or refuse their offer to join. Any unique quest rewards will also be shown. I'll start with the early recruitable characters for each region. First off is Selvi, a level 6 shaman. She joins you automatically after talking to her and unlocks all repeatable sigil quests to grind XP, honor, renown, gold, and get phantom equipment as rewards. Next is Berenice, a level 8 sellsword. She will only give you a lapis pendant if you refuse her offer to join you. Cell swords have a valor skill that summons a mercenary unit. The summons scale automatically to whatever level the enemy is. Therefore, you can now explore any region in the game with the summons beating any battle for you. For a demonstration, click on the link in the video description below. Now, we can talk about how to access the next three regions. You have to save Scarlet in order to do so. Once Scarlet is saved, you get four additional characters. Scarlet is a level 2 unique priestess class that heals and does magic damage. Fran is a level 6 griffin knight. Kitra is a level 8 warrior. Kitra can also repair bridges. Miriam is a level 8 radiant knight. Saving Scarlet also gives you access to recruiting Renault. Renault is a level 15 promoted great knight. Just complete any four liberation battles that he joins to recruit him. Drakenhold will be our first new region with Virginia as its first recruit. She is a level 10 unique crusader class that can wield two shields at once. Leah is accompanying her as a level 9 sword fighter. Prim is a level 10 cleric. She is recruited whenever you approach her on the map. Aramis is a level 12 sword fighter. You must talk to him with Prim in order to recruit him. Berengaria is a level 10 promoted unique Dark Marquis class that wields axes and great shields. Talking to her during battle is not required to recruit her. Magellan is a level 13 sellsword. Liza is a level 14 arbalest. Gloucester is a level 14 dark knight. He also joins after Liza's map. Jeremy is a level 16 sellsword. You get 20,000 gold for executing him. Hilda is a level 15 wyvern knight. You must have Prim in your party and talk to her. Once the battle is done, you can head over to talk to Hilda again to get an option to recruit her. Refusing her gives you absolutely nothing. These are all the early recruits in Drakenhold. Let's head to Elheim next. Rosalinda is a level 10 promoted unique elven auger that uses spears and can equip caster accessories. She joins you automatically as soon as you enter Elheim. Lina Lagos is a level 15 promoted elven archer. Celeste is a level 17 promoted griffin master. You can recruit her early if you spare Gamel. Gamel is a level 17 promoted rogue if you spared him. Mandrin is a level 17 promoted sniper if you spared him and Gamel. Eltolinda is a level 20 unique elven sibyl that uses spears and can equip caster accessories. Once her main quest is finished, you can recruit the next two characters. Rylanor is a level 20 promoted elven fencer. Galadmir is a level 21 promoted elven archer. These are all the early recruits in Elheim. Let's head to Bastorius next. Unifi is a level 25 promoted unique snow archer class. Ramona is a level 25 promoted were owl. Marad is a level 25 promoted were lion. Once the first main quest is finished, you can recruit the next two characters. 
Dinah is a level 27 promoted were Fox. Bryce is a level 30 promoted legionnaire. He gives 50 honors when executed. That wraps up the starter areas of the three new regions. I shall show all the remaining characters in the first region for the last part of the video. Orch is a level 7 wizard. He gives a lapis pendant when executed. You get his silk hood when he is recruited, and he can explore two ruins that give a lapis pendant each. Rolf is a level 3 hunter. Jailing Gamel gives you 10,000 gold. Bruno is a level 6 gladiator. Sharon is a level 4 cleric. She gives a hallowed mace when rejected. If she is recruited, you get a lucky coin, the ability to recruit Oculus, and access to six world quests. You really shouldn't reject her. Executing Mandarin gives 15 divine shards. Ocles is a level 7 promoted feather sword. She will join you after you spend 30 divine shards in her divine shard shop. Yana is a level 5 witch. She also gives you access to five world quests. Adele is a level 6 cavalry. You can kill a hidden yellow enemy on his map for a miracle fruit. Morden is a level 6 warrior. You get a warhammer for recruiting Morden. Morden can also repair bridges. He gives 30 honors when executed. Nina is a level 7 warrior. You must have Mila talk to her in order for her to be recruited. She gives nothing when rejected. Melisandra is a level 13 sword fighter. You have to announce yourself to her and then field the main character to defeat an opponent in order for her to join your army. Nothing is given when she is executed. Calm is a level 12 fighter. He joins when Melisandre is recruited. Monica is a level 14 Radiant Knight. She gives 30 divine shards when refused. Tatiana is a level 16 cleric. She only gives five elixirs when her proposal gets rejected. That wraps all the early characters that can be recruited. In the next recruit video, I will be showing the rest of the characters along with every post-game character. Like and share this video, and subscribe for daily Unicorn Overlord videos.